Here's a report that I get asked often about. It is to do attrition calculation. So rolling, generally rolling 12 months attrition calculation. And it's pretty easy to do that in Workday. And I'll show you how to do that here. So create custom port. And it's going to be matrix. It's going to be on trended worker. And we'll call it attrition. Well, there's a lot of here. Um, and that's called rolling 12 months here, just to make sure that you understand that the user understands it's rolling 12 months attrition. Now the trick to all of this is I'm just gonna run it um, for default filter, but you obviously can put your um, trainer worker for all organizations so that your users can pick, pick a particular organization to run this for. Um, the piece that uh, as that does the, that that uh, rolling twelve months attrition is being done over here. So my field to summarize is a, a calculation, and I'll create the term, create that calculation for report. Now the calculation is um, it's it's your attrition for the last twelve months divided by your average headcount for the last twelve months. So that's your attrition calculation. So um, I mean, we might as well call this total attrition. Now, this is a um, summary calculation because, of course, it's the first thing that you need to sum up as your, your termination for the last 12 months. So that is done by another summary calculation called a, a lookup prior value. Right? So turnover last 12. And it's a lookup prior value. And it is a sum number of time periods. And so now the summarization tab is obviously sum. And the field is turnover, the terminations. So termination count. And we're doing 12 periods, return zero and error. So now we have our turnover for the last 12 and now we need to divide it by the average head count. So that is again a calculation and so average head count last 12. Whoops, of course I need to do that. Here it's again a lookup prior value and what it is is a average last 12 periods, right? Uh, sum Field is head count, your ending head count, and 12, return zero and error. Okay, got the return zero and error there, and almost set up. Now, of course, this is um, a percentage, yeah? so you'll do format this as a percentage. Then you'd want going across your columns, you certainly want your year month. And let's calculate field year month. Year month. This is also a calculated field. I'll show you what it looks like. It's essentially a format date which takes record date and converts it to a year month yeah, so that you have that trend. And then going down, well, depending on what you know, this is your main and primary analysis for this, right? And often people do this by country or by business unit or something major. Right? So we'll just do it by country. Country, just format it better and just do an alphabetical ascending because it's a little more logical. All right, so you there you have that piece done. Now let's just go to the prompts and sort out the prompts. Swap time series so that start and end here. And we'll just always, um, we, we, we'll let the user prompt it. Right? These all are not necessary. Okay, we'll put it into our um, tags. Um, baseline reports, base. Mm, report tags, foundation, we call it. How do we need 
need to do this. You guys, we should have your own menu structures. Um, that's that. Now the cool thing over here, in advance, you can start putting your facets here. Right? And so now you can run a facet here by, for example, job, family, or stuff like that. So, um, or you can even do it by gender, right? You can do your gender analysis here. You can do um, by job family, job profile, job level, etc. So you have assets filters over here. And that's about it for this report. Um, so I said, pretty simple. Okay, let's run it. I'm gonna run for a period where I know I have data. And so I'm gonna do 0101, 2016. 27, 17 to 12, 31, 2017, so a year. Okay. Oops, don't have much data here. Um, uh, so here, so yeah, so it's calculating for the US. Um, So here I've now run it for 2018, just to get that decent data. You're obviously wondering why these zeros are here. Well, they certainly have head count, uh, but they obviously have no attrition. And so there is something in the calculation and this system hence will render it. But anyway, so you see here, you have some numbers for Mexico, United Kingdom, United States. And if you click on any one of these numbers, you will get your turnover for the last 12 months and your average head count and hence your attrition calculation. And um, yeah, as I said, you can now see what, uh, based on, uh, you know, with your facets, now you can start doing interesting calculations as to gender, et cetera. Um, this is now an attrition calculation for total attrition. So you obviously can do the entire calculation for, for involuntary attrition, which would be, um, so here you do total attrition. The only difference is that your turnover last 12, you would don't, wouldn't do a termination count here. You would do, uh, you would simply add up the involuntary attrition or involuntary terminations. And that's fairly easily done. All right, so the you see you're absolutely able with Trended Worker to do a rolling 12 month attrition calculation that will serve most of your kind of slice and dice um, uh, reporting requirements.